again they'll look to charge down this left hand flank he's having a good time as Brown he gets the byline cuts it back and Duck Eagles couldn't get it Foley does it's 1-0 Dice again it was Brown opening him up in wide areas and Foley makes no mistake it doesn't he love it loves it as much as I love that very mind. fast and he's He's won it, he's threw in on goal, he plays it to his teammate Ethan Engels through the keeper's legs and that's 2-0 for the, the Norky Knights. The counter-attack from the set piece was lightning quick there from the Norky Knights. Yeah, I think Egan would like to have that one back. He seemed to be in control of the situation. He's three years as we see that ball lofted in but effectively cleared. Not as far as Foley who scuffs it and Engels. Clark down to save and Engels knocks his own shot back in the net. That's 3-0 to the Norky Knights, a scratchy goal, but look, they'll take it in the third before half time. Whilst the game is now nice not back over. There. Gets things moving quickly, heavy touch might let Brown in, he wins it back, it's all Knights here. Brown storming into the box and makes the 4-0, and the Glenorchy Knights are like a Seljuk Cup final bound. Brown was blistering in the first 45, he's picked up where he left yeah. off. Rather than... Other than rather, a spectacular goal or two as this one's killed into the middle. The keeper doesn't deal with it. And that is football for you. And it's the, the General Sherman. Who goes bang 5-0. Oh, look, he deserves a goal tonight as the General. And look. Yeah. His name's Oak Brown on that side. And a lovely move from Brown. Plays it back to the penalty spot. Ethan Edgar with the hat trick. 6-0 Glenorchy Knights. A oh. wonderful build up from the Browns and then Duck Eggles with a most deserved hat trick just for the icing on the cake tonight.